Hey everyone, Dr. Nemesis here, and today we're going to be looking at the Arrows card inside of Clash Royale. Let's start with an overview. Arrows are the first spell card in Clash Royale. You start the game with it, and it's a fundamental card that fits into most decks. It's a low cost spell at only 3 elixir. Its radius is 4 tiles and at tournament standard does 243 damage to troops and 86 damage to crown towers. Let's look at units it kills at 243 damage, starting with Skeleton Army, an even elixir trade that wipes out the swarm and can potentially stop a devastating push. If you can predict the Skeleton Army, you can cripple your opponent's defense. Spear Goblins a negative elixir trade unless you can catch more than just the spear goblins within the radius of the arrows such as another small troop or even the tower goblins the same story as spear goblins they are a negative elixir trade unless you can catch another troop or the crown tower keep in mind the damage they output and let that determine if they are worth being arrowed goblin barrel one of the deadliest cards in the game and for an even elixir trade, you can shut it down completely. With its much wider radius, it's capable of stopping even the much hated trick barrel. A log or zap just won't hit. Skeletons. One elixir skeletons are a complete negative elixir trade. Same as the spirit or stab goblins. If you can clip another troop or the tower is when you get value for arrowing the skeletons. I don't feel they should ever be arrowed, but that's just my opinion. Minions. One of the most dangerous cards in the game. Minions almost always warrant arrows because of the potential damage they can cause. If they are left unanswered, they can wipe out a push or devastate a tower. It's an even elixir trade that just doesn't go wrong, especially on the prediction. Minion Horde. A positive elixir trade. Plus two elixir is a trade you never want to miss. As soon as you know your opponent has minion horde, you know what your arrows are for. Considering the minion horde has one of the highest DPSs in the game, arrows are the hard counter to the minion horde. Lava Pups. The Lava Hound is not what you want to arrow. Hitting it with arrows is a simple waste of of elixir and will do virtually nothing just like it does to every other tank in the game however when the lava hound explodes it becomes a horde of lava pups these are the positive elixir trade you want seven elixir for three that's the best trade you can make using arrows lava pups don't do a lot of damage on their own but if supported they can easily take a tower Arrowing the pups is a positive trade and cancels out a portion of whatever push your opponent wants to hit you with. Fire Spirits The Fire Spirits are an interesting trade with arrows. If you arrow them and clip the tower or another troop, it's a good trade. Arrowing them alone is a negative trade. However, if left alone they can do similar damage to a fireball. So arrowing the Fire Spirits is a calculated loss if you can't afford the damage on your towers. Skeleton Barrel. This barrel gets handled the same way as a Lava Hound. Arrowing the barrel does a good bit of damage, but doesn't take it out. You'll want to arrow the Skeleton Horde that emerges from the barrel once it pops for an even elixir trade. Princess. An even elixir trade on a legendary card is as rewarding as it gets, considering arrows are a common card. Because of the range she has, it's always good to arrow a princess. She is almost always placed in close proximity to a tower, so it's very easy to get value out of arrowing her. Eliminating a princess almost always eliminates the support your opponent was trying to build on a push. Bats. A negative elixir trade and would never recommend arrowing them unless you can clip the tower or another troop. Unsupported bats will only land one hit on the tower, so it's pointless to arrow them down and take a one elixir loss. Ice Spirit. A negative two elixir trait that doesn't make sense unless you clip the tower or another troop. The Ice Spirit does a minimal amount of damage if left alone and is usually just used to cycle a deck regardless. It's not worth the elixir loss. Goblin Gang. 
Another even elixir trade at 3 for 3. The Goblin Gang's versatility is what makes it a true danger and a headache that you never want to deal with. Leaving the gang alone can cause a serious amount of damage to a tower. You'll want to arrow these hoodlums whenever possible. Assuming they're not paired with a barrel and your only answer is arrows. The Dark Goblin. One of the fastest cards in the game and an even elixir trade. Arrowing a Dark Goblin is never a bad idea. He can get massive damage against your push and then translate to a mean counter attack, even if he is left unsupported. Arrow this menace as soon as he spawns. Let's talk ladder. On ladder, arrows can be one of the best cards in your deck. They are easy to level up and over level because they are a common and over leveled arrows can kill archers where at tournament standard they leave them at low health when over leveled it can be a very scary card to face on ladder against an unsuspecting player in a 2v2 match you have to watch your placements because of the massive radius it's very easy to activate the king towers and make the match twice as hard for you and your teammate but it's really good at helping with the massive buildup of troops the opposite team might try to throw at you. My final judgment and opinion on the card. Always watch your placements because of the very large radius. It's very easy to activate the king tower. However, it eliminates all the smaller support cards and even a few potential threats. Overall, the arrows can't be countered due to it being a spell. I rate this card as a tier 1 card inside of clash royale because of its ability to fit into most decks it can't truly be substituted because it hits both ground and air troops for a low cost it's a spell that can't go wrong that's going to do it for this video guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more nemesis files